Hey, I think none of us like to be rejected. Last time I checked, right? I mean, none of us wants to just put ourselves out there and get denied. But when I get rejected, I actually do three things and they all start with the letter P. So the first thing I do is I pause because when I get rejected in the very beginning, I always pause and I say, you know what? Is it something I did? Is it perhaps the quality of work that I'm presenting? Is it that something needs to be tweaked or adjusted? And so the first thing I always do is I pause. The second thing I do is I persevere. Sometimes I really believe rejection is just people's first line of defense. So if you're gonna ask someone to partner with you or if you are going to you know, put yourself out there in a pretty significant way, maybe it's a proposal, uh, maybe you've uh, tried to begin something, Many times people's uh, gut reaction is just, nope, too busy, can't do it. And so I, the second thing I do is I persevere. And I dig deep and I say, is this something that I really want? And if it is, then I persevere through. And I want to give a big uh, shout out to one of our authors named Lady 80. She's in the UK and she wrote the book Unfrozen. And there was a particular bookstore in the UK that was not going to carry her book. And it's a fantastic book. It's beautiful. It talks all about uh, melting your heart from life's uh, disappointments and um, just it's a fantastic book. And this uh, this pub this uh, bookstore was just being uh, just dumb, okay? And uh, I mean, nothing wrong with them, but they were just kind of being dumb and they didn't even give it a chance. So what Lady did is instead of get all upset and become a victim and start, you know, cursing or start, you know, yelling at these people, instead of what she did is she went home, she thought about it, and then she responded back to the bookstore and said, hey, look, I'm a reader and I'm a buyer and is there any way that I can promote you through social media and get word about your bookstore out? I'll tell you what, within an hour, she got a message back that said, hey, we're going to carry your book now. So in other words, what Lady 80 did is something that we teach and that's becoming a victor when you uh, face a circumstance or situation that you're not excited about. You know, lots of us, we just uh, make excuses, we blame and we, we get frustrated and we make it about us. But here's what Lady did, she pushed through it. She persevered. The last response, this is a brilliant one. It's, I'm gonna steal it from my buddy named Dexter Godfrey. Dexter is the man. He always comes to the Igniting Souls conference and speaks at our yearly conference, but he did a talk a few years ago, and I'm just gonna quote him exactly. I know it's not uh, gender ex inclusive, but just hang with me for a second. He says, man's rejection is many times God's protection. Man's rejection is God's protection. And you gotta love Dexter, because he just yells it. I won't yell it because I would look foolish, but, <laughs> but Dexter yells, he yells, you know, man's rejection is God's protection. And if you wanna say people's uh, rejection is God's protection. A few years ago, I had this uh, brilliant idea and I knew it was a brilliant idea and I put uh, a proposal together. It took 45 hours to put this proposal together. It was amazing. We had lawyers sign off on it. I mean, it was beautiful, it was, it was perfect. We submitted it and then we got rejected. And the person said, well, I'll tell you what, make some changes. So we put 40 hours more of changes into this proposal, my business partner and I, David. And we got rejected again. And I mean, we were bummed. We were absolutely bummed. Now we got 85 hours in this proposal, super bummed, but here's what happened. Man's rejection is God's protection. That little proposal turned into one of the most amazing things in, in my life, uh, besides my family and besides my loved ones, it's basically the, the highlight, the pinnacle of, of everything that I'm involved in uh, from a business standpoint. So folks, just hang with me the three Ps, okay? Next time you get rejected, pause. Then number two, persevere. And then number three, uh, realize that you've been protected. So be a victor, not, not a victim, and make it happen today. And next time you get rejected, rejoice because uh, great things are in store. Don't give up. I believe in you. This is Carryover Runner. Be a soul on fire.